Hello, we're at Edge Software continuously developing our software product, MetaShape, and currently we are focused on improving support for combined processing of digital images and LiDAR data. Today, we would like to illustrate a comparison of photogrammetric processing of images and LiDAR data processing in terms of what 3D surface can be generated as a result, and we will also present results of combined processing of both types of data. The first project we would like to show is a digital twin of the city of Tver. In this project, photos were captured with a Leica CityMapper 2H system from an altitude of 1 km. 150 megapixel photos were taken both from Nadir view with 80% side and 80% forward overlap, as well as from an oblique view at 45 degrees. And in addition to the imagery data, a laser sensor was scanning the city with a density of 120 points per square meter, and simultaneously the trajectory of the aircraft was recorded. Let's firstly discuss how information about the trajectory of the aircraft can help us to improve reconstruction results we get after the processing of a LiDAR point cloud into a 3D surface. If we look at the point cloud obtained by the airborne LiDAR in this project, the point cloud contains a large number of points from the roofs of moving cars. As a result, the surface reconstructed based on this data includes a lot of false geometry, namely the roofs of the cars which are passing by, which we would not like to see as a part of the scene. The improvement we introduced into processing algorithm to resolve the false geometry problem is based on considering aircraft trajectory. If this information is taken into account, the algorithm eliminates false geometry and we get more clear results. This was proved in the project for the city of Tver. The idea which was used to develop the algorithm, in fact, is rather simple. Let us explain this idea based on some drawings. Let this be a primitive representation of a scene we would like to reconstruct. If we only have an airborne LiDAR data for the scene without the trajectory of the aircraft, we just have a set of points with normals. These points tell us where the surface in the scene is located, approximately, and that's it. Whereas, if we had the aircraft trajectory data, then each point of the first return of the laser ray essentially defines a line of sight. Let's call it a visibility ray. This is so, since if a LiDAR observes a point on the surface, this means that there are no obstacles on the line between the point and the laser scanner. Let's use some examples to understand the statement. The first example, let's consider a point located on the building facade with a tree growing nearby. The visibility ray for this point tells us that the line between the building and the aircraft must have no objects on it. In other words, the tree shouldn't overcast the facade for the view from the aircraft in the position we consider at the moment. Second example. Points in the narrow passage between the buildings in the left part of the scene. Using the same reasoning as in the first example, we can say that visibility rays for these points ensure that the space between the buildings is empty. And as the third example, let's consider a car within the scene. The car is not stationary, it is moving. We can tell this if in the LiDAR point cloud we have some points from the road surface under the car. Respective visibility rays help the algorithm to eliminate the surface of the car, the false geometry, from the results of the surface reconstruction process, in this case based on the LiDAR data. Now, let's take a look at real project example of how considering aircraft trajectory information and LiDAR data itself help us to improve reconstruction results. This is a part of a city block with narrow passages between the buildings from the city of Tver project. The imagery overlap for the ground inside this yard is inevitably low. Hence photogrammetric processing results in noisy geometry. However, if we process both the imagery data and the LiDAR point cloud with trajectory, then the algorithm will reconstruct more accurate geometry without falsy parts. With a second real project example, we have compared reconstruction results based on imagery data versus those based on LiDAR data. 
As you see, the geometry of the monument is not very detailed if reconstructed from LiDAR data. While reconstruction results based on imagery data are much more detailed, we can see a hand of the man, his head and even stairs at the bottom of the monument. While showing you one more example comparing processing results based on LiDAR data versus results of processing of the imagery data, we would like to remind you that in general, processing of LiDAR data is fast. The underlying reason is that the point cloud data is close to the final result in the sense that those are both 3D data. To summarize, 3D reconstruction based on imagery is slower, however, results are usually more detailed. For example, in this case we can see that the shapes of the windows and facades are much more regular than in the result based on LiDAR data as shown on the previous slide. The problem with the reconstruction results based on imagery data arises when the scene has some parts with low coverage and or poor overlap. In such a situation, the algorithm often generates false geometry, like the one indicated with red rows on the slide. Surely, it is interesting to see what we can get for these problematic areas if we process imagery and LiDAR data together. As this example shows, the file geometry is eliminated. And, what is also important, the level of detail of the facade surface remains. So we see that the best 3D surface reconstruction result can be achieved by taking the best of both worlds. The world of classical photogrammetry, considering only digital images, and a modern approach when laser scans are added to the surface reconstruction process. This is intuitively clear and now has been proved in practice. And now let's take a look at the examples when a terrestrial laser scanner data helps to get better results than those generated based on the imagery data only. This project was held by Edisoft. Its goal was to reconstruct ruins of a mansion of the 18th century using images taken from a drone and terrestrial laser scans. When preparing an imagery data set for photogrammetric processing of overgrown ruins, vegetation is a significant obstacle. Due to this drawback in the input data, even aligned in the photos, the very first processing step in photogrammetric workflow can be a problem. In this project, when we try to process only images, alignment results turn to be problematic in two ways. Firstly, in the right part of the scene, the images were not positioned in space at all. And in the left part of the scene, the situation is even worse. The images were incorrectly positioned in space. As a result, the 3D surface of the wall is misplaced. If we complement photo alignment with geometric registration of terrestrial laser scans, both of the problems get resolved. On the left, the wall now is positioned correctly, and on the right, the images are properly positioned in space. Another example of combined processing of terrestrial laser scans and imagery data is the Bell Tower. A DSLR camera was used to capture data for all floors and staircases, and laser scans were taken in two or three positions per floor. The first and the last floor are not a big problem. You can easily move there, and therefore you can cover all the surfaces of the scene with photos and good overlap. But in the stays between the floors, and on the intermediate floors themselves, you can't walk anywhere but from staircase to staircase. Those are the practical restrictions of the project, since the bell tower is a part of an open-air museum on the island of Kiji, a UNESCO site in Karelia. So the spots of the structure were reconstructed well only thanks to the combined processing of imagery and terrestrial laser scanner data. To summarize, firstly, LiDAR data is processed much faster because in its nature, this data is closer to the target result, 3D surface, than to the images. The points in the LiDAR point cloud already specially describe the geometry we want to reconstruct as a 3D surface. Secondly, LiDAR is more reliable in difficult-to-reach areas, for example, between trees and facades, between closely located buildings, and in the narrow passages be those inner yards of buildings or staircases in interiors. On the other hand, photogrammetry approach generates more detailed 3D surface, 
provided that imagery overlap is good. Therefore, the best results of 3D surface reconstruction can be obtained by combined processing of imagery and LiDAR data. And the tool to perform this combined processing is Metashape 2.0, where we have implemented a combined surface reconstruction approach to simultaneously process imagery data with data from aerial LiDAR and terrestrial laser scanner. Additionally, on Metashape 2.0, we have developed the function of combined alignment of imagery data and terrestrial laser scans. Finally, in the future version of Metashape 2.1, we plan to introduce a function of geometric registration of point clouds from various sources. Thank you for your attention.